What's up, you guys? Welcome back to another video. video. And by the title of today's video, you guys already know that we're having a picnic in our backyard. Yes, guys, a picnic in our backyard. Whoop, 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 whoop. First brand is dropping in February. Stay motherfucking tuned. It's gonna be lit. But here's our backyard, guys. Hey, 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 out, out, out. <laughs> Oh my body, guys. We are gonna go to the store right now and buy some picnic stuff and we're gonna have a picnic right here. Hopefully we have enough time before the sun goes down, but we're gonna have a beautiful picnic, me and Brittany right here. We're gonna play with the dogs, act like we're at a park. Guys, I really, really wanna do a spending 24 hours in our backyard and like we can't go inside to go get food, nothing. So we're gonna have to make food outside. We're gonna have to be in a tent outside and maybe we'll have the weenie with us in there. So comment down below if you guys wanna see that. It's currently 3.30 p.m. Sun goes down around five, which is lame as shit. But um, you can go find me on Instagram, Garic Two Official, right here. Go follow me. Um, I'm about to hit a million followers. My birthday is on January 28th. It's coming up, guys. We're about to do a lot of cool shit. Stay motherfucking tuned. And but my my biggest wish was to hit a million on Instagram from you guys. That would be the best present ever, guys. So go follow me on Instagram. Go also follow my fiance, Brittany. She's about to hit two million. That will also be a great gift for me. Okay, guys, so we are here now at Whole Foods. Wait, we eat healthy it? tonight. Weenie Bobini. Weenie this Bobini. We are the color, bougie head ass. Bruh. We need lettuce so we can make the tomatoes, babe. Organic popcorn. Look at all of this stuff, you guys. This is all healthy, healthy items. All right, guys, we need some prosciutto, too. Babe, the prosciutto is over here, I think. Am I saying it wrong? Bruh, she left my ass. Oh, you smell the cheese? Oh, you smell the cheese? Why are you leaving me like I'm not important to you? You want guys to think you're single, huh? So we're getting some salami for the sandwiches. We're getting some crackers. Babe, the prosciutto. It's over here. Prosciutto. Prosciutto. Grab two of them bitches. We're good. We're good? Go. That's it? Oh, we need a juice now. And guys, bread. we're on a very very fast time crunch because the sun is gonna go now. Yeah, sun goes down quick nowadays. Watch, next year it's gonna go down at 3 p.m. We found Zebras. Right there, white classic. Last item but not least, we need some chips. Healthy chips? Fuck it. We got those two chips. We got everything we gotta move now. We got everything we gotta move now. Run, run. All right guys, we're on a time clock. It's 4.20 right now, the sun goes down at 5. Come on, babe, we got this. We got the picnic basket right here. Brittany needs to whip up the sandwiches real quick. You guys, we had a late start to the morning, so please do not judge us. Guys, I woke up at 9 a.m. and then Brittany was sleeping, so I, I went on my phone a little bit. I was cuddling with her. You know how I like cuddled legs together? That's what I was doing. And then she got cranky. She was like, bro, leave, give me some space. And then I got sad and I went on the left side of the bed. I was like about to tear up and shit. And then I went and I cuddled her and I fell asleep till like 2 p.m., bro. How does that happen? All right, whip them up, baby. We got some cotton kind of grapes. <gasps> no. Hey, hey, don't eat that. Don't eat that, you'll die! Guys, these are cotton candy grapes. The perfect cotton candy. Guys, I told her let's get Jersey Mike's instead of making sandwiches. No, I didn't! Instead of making sandwiches, we could have been freaking eating the sandwiches outside right now. Hey, hurry, bro. We're trying to go as fast as, I, as we can, guys. Guys, I made the sandwiches right here. Oh. <laughs> you guys, this is not how I make sandwiches. Bear with me. I'm actually very good at making sandwiches. Oh yeah, she is. Who says you gotta go to the park? Make your own picnic in your backyard. Wow, our fucking living room looks so empty without a tree. Oh yeah, guys, we took down the tree. You guys, it's getting dark outside. I'm scared. Come on, honey. Rip those avocados like you never ripped them before. So well, Bernie's finishing up the sandwiches. I am gonna go put the sheet. Hi, buddy. Yes, we're gonna be outside with you. St stop it. Let you out. Guys, I think I got the wrong sheet, bro. This is our bed sheets. Boom! This is what it's gonna be looking like. So we got a nice view of the Los Angeles city. And then we got a Doberman that's gonna be running around. All right, guys, Brittany's done making the sandwiches. We will clean up afterwards, because it is getting dark. We're gonna be playing Godzilla Jenga Extreme Edition. I think Matias, our editor, Matt, got us this in Secret Santa last year. Ah, oh, thank you, God. Guys, this is so beautiful. We're extremely blessed to even have a chance to have a picnic in our backyard and have these beautiful, amazing, healthy dogs. Woo! 
picnic in our backyard. Let's open the basket and see what we got in here. Sheesh. Guys, fuck no. I just grabbed Weenie. There's a hawk up there. Get out of here. I don't know if you guys can see it, but I can see it. Yeah, I'm not risking that, guys. Bye bye, Weenie. You're just gonna sit in the middle of us, bro? Todd's block? Come on. Babe, this is for you. Guys, if we weren't filming, we would have freaking for show sure banged. What are you talking about? Move. Damn, babe, we gotta low key do this, bro. No, Nitro, come. Just imagine this view. Stop! Alright, guys, so we got our basket right here. So we got vitamin water right there. We got our sandwiches, Brittany mate. Oh, really? Wait, which one's which? That one is mine. This one? is yours. A little bit of quick time. Nitro, please. Nitro, out. Nitro, out. he's covering you. Nitro, get out of here. Go play. Here, go play. He's still dumb too, like he will go play. We got some grapes. Get the fuck out the basket. We got yeah. some cookies. We got some chippies. Nitro, we got some pepper. Nitro, out. We got some snackies if you want. And yeah, that's it. And he doesn't like it. Right here. I gave him blackberry. That one's yours, right? I think so. Yeah. Oh, quick time, guys. This is what the sandwich looks like. So, baby, how was your day today? It was very good. I woke up next to you. Mmm. Bothered me a bit. That's what husbands do. This reminds me of like school. You know, like, like going to the science center and then eating on the grass, grass, right? Yeah. Outside. Bro, I freaking wanted to eat like inside the science center. I brought money for like McDonald's and shit. That was the best. To eat at McDonald's at the Science Center, right? Mm hmm. You know, I won. Mm -hmm. Our, my teacher bought me McDonald's because I won. You won what? Because you know the ice, the cold room, and they have like a whole wall of ice. It's kind of like this polar bear room or some shit like oh, that. Oh, yeah, you touch the ice? And then you can touch the ice wall. So my teacher told me, she's like, okay, guys, like anybody who can keep their hand on here the longest, I'll buy them McDonald's. W teacher, what the hell? And I kept my hand on the longest. It was me and this other kid. Oh, well, is your hand not cold? I was just like, it was mind over matter, to be honest. I just kept my hand there and I was like, I want fucking McDonald's. Like I was little, you know? I wouldn't be able to do that. You guys, we're gonna play some Jenga. Everybody was telling me, they're like, take your hand off of it, take your hand. The sandwich is bossing. Mm. He wants another Blackberry, I think. You guys, I'm gonna build it real quick. Ask me a question, baby. Mm. What was your favorite field trip you've ever been on? Mm, the Anne Frank one. I think it was the most interesting one. Where was it? I don't fucking know. Hogwarts? I think my favorite one has to be the Science Center. I like the Dinosaur Museum, too. Yeah. I saw a whole full on T-Rex. You think those fossils are real, bro? Yeah, they are. I think they capped it. I think the closest thing to a dinosaur is an elephant. Nah, it's this motherfucker right here. No, actually, I think it's birds. Bro, I, I don't know if this is going to work. I think birds are the closest thing to dinosaurs, maybe. Do you remember our first date? Actually, yeah. not our first date. Our first picnic date. Where was it? It was kind of by Beverly Hills. Did we film it? Yeah, we did. Guys, we filmed our first picnic date. It's on our YouTube channel. It's all the way at the bottom, but I will put it at the end of today's video. If you, you guys want to go watch it. It was Young GMB. Only OGs know that video. Babe, hold on. If I had a big schlong, I would so like... Bro, what the fudge? I would like to smack you in the face with that, to be honest. I don't run Lil Nas X way. By the way, that motherfucker is gonna burn in hell. I said it. Fuck you, Lil Nas X. Anyways. You wanna go first? This is gonna fall. No, it's not. It is gonna fall. I'll go first. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. The fuck you mean about, hmm? Wait, what does the loser have to do? The loser has to give the winner a back rub for 20 minutes. Okay, put peanut butter on her stomach and let Nitro lick it off. What the fuck? No. Why? That's so weird. Okay, okay, off our toes, off our toes. No, we have to do the bite sleeve with all three dogs. Okay, fine. Okay, guys, we have a bite sleeve and the dogs love it. Zero is the craziest when you're breaking the bite sleeve out. So whoever loses has to do the bite sleeve with all three dogs. All right, bet. Scar doesn't really like, he just goes on it and he like bites on it. He wants to like just tug over it. Slow and steady, just like you. Oh my god. Guys, this one's a little harder because it's not on a flat surface. Alright, babe. What's the most romantic thing I've ever done for you? For me? Mm hmm I think the most romantic. It was disgusting, but it was romantic. I don't know. I'm it was like, disgusting. Yeah, on like our third date, you guys, Garik saw black pepper in my tooth and he took it out. Oh no! What were you doing? Bro, Nitro! The most romantic thing, yeah, when you ate the black pepper out of my mouth. It was our third date, and we are eating. Do you remember what we were eating, Sushi? I don't know. And we were eating something, and Brittany had like a black piece in her tooth, and I literally took it out and ate it in front of her. So disgusting. I loved you, bro. 
it was so gross, but it was like romantic, I guess. Guys, that's how you know I loved her like so much. She's giving a dog a blanket, but not me. I did give it to you. You weren't using it. And this guy's shivering right now, bro. He has like no hair, bro. Leave him alone. He's, <laughs> he looks <laughs> like a worm. So funny, bro. He looks like the worm from SpongeBob. Yeah, he does. Ow. Oh. Wait, let's try this piece. This one. Oh, Look oh fuck. Him. It's not recording. What the fuck? Ah, got your ass. Don't give it to him. Is that one good? They have like a strange taste. It's not good with the sandwich. Like, you have to like watch him over there and eat that. So out of all three of our houses, which one, you, like, first we had the first apartment, if you guys remember, and then we have the second townhome that we moved into, and then this house. Mm -hmm. Which one is your favorite? What are some things that you miss about the other houses? Okay. Avalon, I think, will forever have a place in my heart because that was the first place me and Garrick moved into. We'll never forget. So us moving into our own place together and definitely helping each other grow. We've been through a lot of shit in that place, you guys. Like, Remember we woke up and there was flies on the wall? Oh my gosh, you guys. <clears throat> I was so scared. That place had a lot of memories to it, but it was time to say goodbye when we did. I was over it. It was weird though. The, the downstairs was the bedroom and then the upstairs was the living room. Yeah. So we would have to go downstairs to sleep. We made our most viral videos there though. Yeah, we did. This motherfucker will eat anything, bro. <laughs> yeah, Avalon was ready for us to move out, but then we ended up moving into Garik's parents' house. Oh, yeah, we moved into my parents' house. Mm -hmm. And let's just say that it wasn't... Cotton candy grapes? It wasn't for us. It was not for us. But it was it was a little cool pause from living with each other, like, on our own, because we didn't pay any bills, so we saved up a bit. Very grateful for that. Yeah, thank so you, Mama. We were like, okay, it's time to leave. Like, there's just a lot going on. Garg's mom, I think, was telling Garg like Nitro needs to go outside, like he's getting big. Oh, that's when Nitro was first born in in my room. Yeah, me, you guys. I know a lot of people have different beliefs about dogs and whatnot. Like people don't like dogs on the bed. People don't like dogs on the couch. People don't like dogs inside the house. I respect whatever people have, like their decisions for their dog. Me personally, though, my dogs are my dogs, and I love my dogs. I love everybody's dogs, to be honest. Like if I could, if I could take everybody's dogs that are outside and put them into my house, I. I sure as hell would, and Garg knows that too. So, I, love you. I just, I just think that dogs, like now, having a backyard, our dogs are outside during the day because they love it. They love being outside. They need it. They need to have that energy. They go on hikes. Then at nighttime, this time they would come inside. They take a nap, and then they come out. They eat their dinner, and then they hang out with us and do whatever a dog does. That's what I believe. I think that dogs should sleep inside the house. There's so many things, you guys. That no, there was a mountain lion spotting the, the other day. So imagine if like, even if Scarboy was outside by himself at night. Yeah. But nonetheless, my favorite spot is this. This is my favorite spot. I think our townhome was our favorite because we left from Garik's mom's house and then we moved into this new place. We loved the location. There was sushi spots on like every corner. There was good ass ramen. Our neighborhood was amazing. Our neighborhood was beautiful. Our neighbors were the best. Like I went on cars, a Zoom trip with my friends and everything guys, just looked beautiful. Our cars are very loud, like very loud. Like when we start them here, it echoes through the whole like neighborhood. Our cars are loud and we would start our cars up with people like literally like same wall. Like we had the same wall mm -hmm. and they would mm -hmm. never complain. Like they, they would always tell us like all the time, like we don't Shout care. Shout out to you guys. Yeah, they're like, we don't care about, they would tell us all the time, like we don't care about like the noise of your car. Our neighbors over here is very chill too. Mm -hmm. We love you guys too. Very, very cool. The only thing that crib didn't have, which is the townhome, was a nice backyard for our doggies. Yeah. I like to lay down here, do some yoga in the morning, stretch. I've been stretching every morning, guys. I just stopped. I haven't worked out. I worked out for like six days straight, guys. And then my 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 rotator cuff from my shoulder started hurting really bad. And then low-key, I'm taking like a three-day, like four-day break, guys, because I'm not trying to fuck up my shit. And I'm trying to work out. Basically, I think that the one that we were in before this, it had so many memories like so many guys like we threw our first two parties there oh yeah so fun the memories are immaculate yeah and everything was just kind of set up like the way that we loved it like my favorite thing my all-time favorite thing about the about the house was the living room area like the living room the kitchen 
the little laundry area was my favorite too. I just hated the bedrooms were yeah, on the third floor it, yeah. and then like the other two rooms, which was the game room, if you guys remember, was very small. I loved my closet though. My closet and my thing were... I had no closet space. Yeah, Garak had like no closet space at all. Our master bedroom was really, really, really small, you guys. Like We were paying too much for that place. <clears throat> yeah, we were paying way too much for that place. Well, let's set them. Damn near seven thousand for like we were 6, no 000. closet, no. It was it was a regular room that wasn't even a master room. No, it was literally really small, you guys. Maybe to you guys it seemed a little big, but no, like it was really small. The only like, good and amazing thing about that place was the living room and the, the balcony right next to the living room. Like I would never want to leave the living room. I would want to sleep mm -hmm. down there, honestly. Living together, guys, and our job, which is social media, did get us to be closer to each other. I think it did take us a little getting used to here. Right? Yeah, yeah. Brittany was a little depressed at first when we first moved in here because she missed the old house. It was like hard to get. And the backyard was all dirt. Yeah, so the, the backyard was all dirt, and it. it if like, the backyard came like this, I think we would have had a problem. It was. Problem. It was kind of stressing me out because in the mornings we would let the dogs out to use the restroom in the back, but it would bring dirt inside the house. Like they would bring dirt inside the house, and then the couches would have dirt on them. When it rained, it was. Oh my god, when it was when it would rain, you guys, we didn't know what to do because like everywhere around us too, like if we would take the dogs to walk, it was mud. So we would just let them go. But then we would have to clean their paws every single time. And it was Zira's fox still in her eye? Oh my gosh, you guys. In the beginning, Zira got a fox tail. I don't think we had, like even talked about that. We should have recorded it. I like to record, guys, because we look at it as memories. I, I love watching old YouTube videos of our old apartment. Basically, we, we let Zira, this is like when we first were moving in. She went into the backyard and like on the hill right here, she was in the hill and stuff. And then she had came inside and like she start, her eyes were kind of watery and she started rubbing her eye. So I put like a rag over her eye. So then I was like, maybe she got pollen in her eye and I just left it. And then we woke up in the morning. I was getting up and Garik is like, oh my God, what's wrong with her eye? And like immediately I knew like. She was looking at me like, that help. And I was like, fuck, I was like, I was like, what happened? And so I went and I looked and her eye like looked inverted. Like, like it looked like her eyeball socket was coming out. Like, so then I called my mom and I tell my mom and I started like crying a little bit. My mom's like, okay, like take her to the emergency room. Like, don't worry, like she'll be okay. So I take her and then they finally take her in and then they tell me they're like, oh, like we're gonna, we're gonna work on her a bit. It might take like an hour or two. So she updated me and basically told me it was a foxtail. They had to sedate her. So then they sedated her and they pulled it out and it was like a foxtail, like, that big like oh my god guys. it was a big i picked her up and she was literally knocked out for the whole day like her eye ended up going down but i was freaking out you guys like i was telling garlic i was like oh my. like i was like i don't want her to lose her eyeball like i'm just thinking the worst you guys like thinking the worst but then they took it out and she's fine yeah she's but fine now guys i literally was like freaking out that was literally like not even a week into moving that was like our third day here so which one's your favorite this place I think now it is. Now it is. At first it I was think the other one. At first it was still. Me too. The first, at first it was the other one, but after we got our backyard and I got used to it, this is my favorite. And it was because the other one was our first, like, I think, home. Like, I can't describe it. Like, yeah, you yeah, get yeah. Me? the townhomes felt like our home. The that was our first, first home. Think yeah, about. like, it, it felt like our home. Like, we made it a home <sighs> type thing. Yeah, well, now, guys, it's getting dark. I love this picnic day, honey. Thank you for the food. I love you. I love you, honey. Guys, grab your significant others and hug them. <laughs> this girl does so much. We're gonna wrap up the picnic, guys. Um, I lost a bit, so I have to freaking arm sling on the dogs. So we're gonna do it while there's a little bit of light. This is what it looks like right now, guys. So beautiful. The mountains are beautiful, especially in the morning, guys. So this is the result of a picnic. Okay, guys, it's getting dark. Next time we won't do this, guys. We won't like freaking wait till last minute to film this, but looks, Nitro's already getting ready. Tell them off, tell them off, off, off. There they go. Ready guys? Get them, get them girl. Get them girl. Good girl, good girl, good girl, good girl. Ready? Good girl, go. Well, they on your ass. <laughs> Good girl. Get, it, Get it, girl. Get it. Get it. What the fuck is wrong with you? Get it, boy. Good boy. Good boys. Good boys. Good boys. Good boys. <laughs> Get it. They're on it. My arm. Are you good? No. I got trapped. 
badly. Jump like a bitch. Imagine not a full body suit. All right, come on, guys. All right, never mind. <laughs> See, freaking paused. Well, all right, guys, that's the end of today's video. We hope you guys enjoyed. <sighs> I'm so tired. I'm not. I woke up at 2 p.m. Give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe, share this video to everybody you know. Big. Yeah, guys. Why is your hey, ass? That's enough water. Why does your ass jiggle like that? Stop grabbing my ass, dude. Copy your merch down in the description too, right here and right here. If you guys want to see our first ever picnic date together and how we explained how we first met, it's gonna be at the end of today's video and right here, and right here. So go watch that shit. We love you guys. Comment down below with Team Around GRB team, and we'll catch you on the next video. Stay tuned. I took Brittany and my sister Marinka shopping and my pockets are hurting. So stay tuned for the next video. Subscribe guys, love you guys. Peace the motherfucking out. Brand is dropping February, the month of love. Stay tuned.